When looking at factors and multiples, they are always of a certain number. For example, uh, in this demonstration, I'll think of the factors of 48. Now, factors are which number times which number gets you to 48. For example, I know that 1 times 48 is 48. And again, you'll need to think of every possible way to get to 48. I know that 2 times 24 will get me to 48. I also know that 3 times 16 will get me to 48, along with 4 times 12 and 6 times 8. Now, 48 has 10 factors. That's a lot of factors for generally what we do. Um, but it's important that when you write all your factors out, we then rewrite them in order. Notice how they come in pairs. Factor pairs are referenced a lot. For example, 1 and 48 are a pair of factors. Two separate factors, but they can come as a pair. When I rewrite them in order, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. So those are all the factors of 48. Now if I were to have, for example, the factors of 64, 8 times 8 equals 64, in my list, I would just list 8 once. 8 is a factor of 64. I wouldn't list it twice, even though it is multiplied by itself. Multiples. If I wanted to find multiples of 6, multiples are any answer in which 6 is a factor. Uh, usually these are put in order, so I would do 6 times 1, and I get 6. 6 times 2, and I get 12. And you don't have to write these problems here, but I'm modeling how I get these answers. And then I go, I can do them in my head. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30. Multiples can go on forever. Um, generally, they are put in order from the first to the last. Factors are limited. Okay, there's a big difference between factors and multiples. Factors, there's a limited number of factors. Multiples can go on forever.